Hello, in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about what I believe is Tesla's biggest design mistake so far, how to get around it, and also how Tesla potentially could fix it with a software update. Coming up next. So I've owned a Tesla since 2019, way back when uh, Elon was in his Anakin phase before he'd turned full dark side. Um, and I love them. I think they're great. Um, I love the fact that they have not assumed that current manufacturers know how to make a car the best way. Um, so I like the minimalist cabin. I like the screen. Um, I kind of think they're sort of the iPhone really of cars and in fact we're now at a stage where I think you know other manufacturers are coming out and they're basically being the Androids uh, you know they're copying the screen they're obviously going EV um, and I've recently got a new style model 3 which uh, on the whole I have to say I really really like I like the the lighting strip I like the uh, quality of the finish I like the blind spot indicators. Um, however, there is one thing that I don't like, and I'm not the only one. The internet really doesn't like them either. And that's these things here. The turn signal uh, buttons that are now on the steering wheel and not on stalks. Now, the reason I don't like them is because in this country, at least in England, when you are on a roundabout, particularly a mini roundabout, your steering wheel could be in any position and most likely it's going to be at least upside down. So it's difficult to find the turn signal. Now, um, I, when I first picked the car up, I drove home, I turned in the mini roundabout that's just at the end of my road and I could not find where the turn signal was to tell other users of the road that I was actually leaving the mini roundabout. And in fact, I had someone on my left I actually did think if uh, that person hit me, it probably would be my fault. And uh, it just it's just not a very safe solution, I don't think. Now, I've had the car two weeks now, and I think I found a pretty decent solution as to how to, uh, to get around it, although it's still not perfect. And it goes back to um, just understanding a bit more about where the arrows are. Now, when you are in a roundabout, you are always going to want to indicate left in the UK, right if you are a, uh, in a left-hand drive country. Now, once you know that, all you actually need to do is to look at the arrows and realise that the left-hand turn signal is pointing away from the centre of the steering wheel. And in fact, it is slightly further away than the, um, the right-hand turn signal. So whatever position your steering wheel is in, if you want a left-hand turn signal, you just have to hit that arrow that is pointing away from the steering wheel. And that doesn't matter what orientation your steering wheel is. So I hope that helps other people who are getting to grips with that system. The other thing to say is I think Tesla could make this system a lot easier to use. I think they should release a software update that gives you an option if your steering wheel is turned more than 90 degrees and the turn signal is on, any button on the steering wheel will reverse the turning signal and then a further push will then cancel it. That will then mean that you don't have to glance down and look at your steering wheel when you are turning out of a roundabout. You'll just know whatever you push will make it go in the other direction. Simple little thing. I think it could be easily implemented and I think it would make a big difference. What do you think? I'd love to hear what your thoughts are in the comments. Do you think, one, do you think this is a design misstep by Tesla? And two, do you think my solution would actually work? Let me know what you think. Hope you found this useful. If you have, please do give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos, um, do subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'd be very interested to know how the Tesla videos go down. Um, if you are thinking about buying a Tesla, there is a referral link in the description, which hopefully will give you some money off or some free miles, depending on what kind of deal Tesla are doing at the time. Uh, if you're also, if you're thinking about buying a Ren Kitchen or switching to Octopus, there's a couple of links there as well. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you on the next video. Take care.